A blockchain describes a system that helps a bunch of different people in a decentralized network come to agreement on what reality is or what truth is. A distributed system for trust allows groups of people to trust one another. Really to trust the information they share. The sky's the limit. You can change everything. So I'm involved in the past with um, copyright, with um, IP, with um, consumer law. A social entrepreneur is truly doing impactful work. They would have no qualms kind of putting that data on blockchain. So it then means that you know the data cannot be fudged, the data cannot be manipulated, and it also means that this form of impact data can really speed up the deployment of capital where capital is needed most. The first major application of this was Bitcoin back in the day, and it made sense that the first application was what looked like uh, money or a transaction system, because when you think about a blockchain just being a series of ledger entries chained together over time, it seems like a financial ledger would be the most obvious application. An ICO, it stands for Initial Coin Offering. Essentially what they're doing is they're creating what they call a token, which is meant to represent something of value in the in the real world. The really interesting thing about blockchain is that it doesn't it is not shoehorned into the traditional format of one company headquarters in one space. You can kind of build these things anywhere. What I'm really excited about is its potential to help governments to work better. And the reason I think blockchain technologies can do that is because it creates a distributed trust network where Peers can verify the transactions and other things like the identity of peers. You don't necessarily have to trust one central institution, one central database, which could be hacked or in some countries could be uh, corrupted by literally a corrupt uh, public official, uh, or frankly could just not work very well and not have a very good user experience. And a perfect example of that is, um, you know, New Zealand is already uh, has a, a huge amount of economic freedom and political transparency, and blockchain technology can only help improve that by uh, allowing uh, g government in New Zealand to adopt a blo uh, blockchain voting, uh, essentially digital voting, which gives a lot more people access to voting and the ability to vote and uh, transparency in how it's done. With big organizations, um, I did a project with the World Food Program a while back, just the efficiencies are a big deal. Um, being able to automate reporting and not um, have to negotiate with people for the format of a report or make them trust you on that count or relieve the, the concern that people have over what you're doing with the money they're giving you. Blockchain allows the opportunity to have a truly distributed energy system. Uh, increasingly when we look at solar, wind, hydropower, etc., it's extremely volatile. Blockchain enables us to be able to utilize that energy at a moment's notice and eventually get to a point where we can be using energy in real time but also transacting with our neighbors. Some of the challenges around blockchain uh, and especially cryptocurrency and, and digital assets are uh, initially is uh, what is it? And, and people, uh, you know, when, when they look at it and they think uh, magic internet money, they are r really uh, worried because it's something that you can't really touch. Uh, it's intangible, but it has uh, real value because uh, it is uh, funding all kinds of different projects and helping uh, uh, create a language of value that's digital. I think there'll be a whole lot of jobs created from blockchain technologies that will transform literally every industry on the planet. So if you train your workforce to be competent blockchain entrepreneurs, I think they'll have a, a rich future and uh, great employment opportunities ahead across every industry. If you're new to blockchain technology and you're interested in, in getting into the industry, there are a number of ways to get involved. For online resources, I recommend a, a number of websites such as Brave New Coin, Dot com or reusecoins.com, uh, bitcoin.org is great as well. A great way to learn is to just roll up your sleeves and join a team and try to build something. And the stakes are very low, the effort can be very high, but there's a huge amount of learning that comes out of that process. Many of the, the best applications of blockchain are still being built uh, and are things we're going to see over the next few years. We haven't even seen them yet, but I would say anything you can think of where there's a central authority that's kind of 
intermediating everything now in a way that's either inefficient or non-transparent. Um, if you imagine a better version by not having that central authority that really controls everything and opening up to transparency, um, I think you're gonna, you're gonna have a ton of innovation that is socially beneficial.